So many of my patients are concerned about getting facial fillers right now when they're thinking about getting the COVID vaccine because there have been reported cases of people having reactions to facial fillers. Now, I want to talk about what's really real and what's really happening with this. Um, in the clinical trials with Moderna, there I think I said that right, Moderna, right? Um, there were 14,000 people that they had in the uh, phase three trials, and they had three people that had reactions that had facial fillers. Now, let's talk about those. Let's break those down. One of them had facial fillers six months prior to the injection and a reaction one day after the injection. Another had um, the uh, fillers two weeks prior to the vaccination, and they had the reaction two weeks after the, or two days after. So the, another one of the cases had the filler two weeks prior to getting the vaccine, and then they had a reaction two days later. The third case was they didn't know when the um, filler was placed prior to the reaction. Now, the reactions themselves are really minor. They get a little bit of redness and a little bit of swelling. And this is something that's just not exclusive to people getting facial fillers in the vaccine. We have this happen in people who just get the facial fillers. So it's nothing new to have a reaction to facial fillers. Now, this is extremely rare. And, and as we just talked about, there's only three cases out of 14,000 people. Probably all of those people didn't have facial fillers. But again, it's a, a very low amount. So when we have this reaction happen, it typically will resolve with a little bit of Benadryl and some steroids. And it the, the reaction did resolve in the, the cases that we talked about with the vaccination. Now, when people get it, when it's not related to the vaccination, we also are able to calm down the redness and swelling using either antibiotics or steroids and some injections as well. But this is nothing... This is nothing new, it's nothing really serious, so I think you can feel safe getting the vaccine, even if you've had facial fillers. Um, if you're really, really worried about this, you could wait one month prior to getting the vaccine to get facial fillers and wait one month after the vaccine. But for me, I've had facial fillers during this period and I've had both my vaccines, so I feel very comfortable getting it done. And the other thing that I did want to mention is it's not an allergic reaction. It's an upregulation of your immune system that's causing this to happen. What that means is your body's immune system is getting revved up so it can fight off a vaccine. And so sometimes it identifies other things that it may attack as well. But facial fillers, the ones that we use most commonly, are hyaluronic acid. And these hyaluronic acid fillers are naturally occurring in our body. So it's very rare to get this reaction. So I think you're good to get your facial fillers. If you have any questions, please contact us at contourderm.com or send us a comment.